quick 10 numbers will flash in front of you you have to tell me the final sum So, did you do it? What you just played is a mental math game known as Flash and Zan. This is played in a lot of mental math competitions, number flash for like 15 to 20 minutes and at speeds of like 0.2 to 1 seconds and then contestants have to tell the final sum. And if you have seen those videos, they do it really really fast. So, in this video, I will teach you the way with which you can also master Flash and Zan and do lightning fast calculations. So, let's begin. Hello Genesis. Before starting this video, I would like to tell you that I have recently started a new WhatsApp channel where I can easily broadcast channel news, share insider things and also cool short tricks. So if you like you can join it from the link in the description of this video. Ok so now let's come back to the video. So the question is how can you add numbers typically between 1 to 100 flashed or told in front of you really really fast. The answer is not one, there are many ways to do it. One less popular way for flash and zan are those same mental math tricks I have taught you in the last few years like left to right method etc etc. But what these superhuman people do in those competitions, that is what I am gonna teach you in this video. So here we go. Step 1 is to learn this thing. This is known as a Soroban, which is a Japanese variant of an abacus. And this is typically used for fast mental math calculations. In this, by moving these beads, similar to how we moved our fingers in the fingers mathematic video, we can simply represent numbers on this and then manipulate these beads to calculate really really fast. Now especially for teaching this, there is a separate video I have made on this channel where I teach you about this abacus and how to learn it in detail here. And also there is a link in the description as well. Now what happens is that when you start to represent numbers on this Soroban, and try to calculate a lot, our brain starts to transition from thinking about numbers in terms of shape in our mind to position of beads on this abacus, which is a lot more brain friendly because our brain has a visual advantage. Like if I tell you, imagine your car, you can easily imagine it, right? Imagine your kitchen, you are going into the kitchen, you can easily imagine it. But by imagining, if I tell you do 456 plus 739, it is very hard because our brain has a lot of difficulty in storing numbers. But the difference is it can easily store numbers by position on beats. And then you can simply manipulate those beats to perform calculations. Now step 1 was to learn this first. Now step 2 is visualize numbers on a Soroban. Now if you practice this enough, the next step is to leave this Soroban and start to imagine a Soroban in your head and then represent numbers on it and start to calculate on that. And this process is called Enzan, the mental visualization of an abacus. And this is exactly those Flash Enzan champions too. They don't see numbers, they see beads moving in their head. And in a lot of competitions, you must have noticed that they are doing this kind of motions with their hand. What they are doing is that they are moving those beads in their mental soroban. Now step 3, the most important one is to practice a lot. And for that I have something really cool, a new app called Matix. It's a competitive math game where you can play with other players online and compete based on your mental math skills. There is even a flash and zan mode where you can test your flash and zan skills with other players. Also there is a practice section where you can set up custom flash and zan games to like improve your skills. So this app simply turns mental math into a fun competitive game and it is perfect for daily practice. So download Matrix from the link in the description of this video or by scanning this QR code on screen. So I hope you have learned the secret. I will now highly encourage you to go watch this video on this Soroban and then practice on Matrix. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.